Welcome to a quick demo of Code Replay for Xcode. Today we're going to show you how this app makes it easier to write blog posts and record programming tutorials, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a session in our Xcode window, and from here we can start writing code normally. As we build out the code, we'll start creating checkpoints. Checkpoints allow us to save the state of our work so that way we can easily revisit it later on. So now for every key moment in our implementation, we can create a checkpoint. So let's go ahead and create the method signature. All right, we can turn that into a checkpoint. Great, let's go ahead and handle the edge cases. That can become its own checkpoint as well. And now we can go ahead and do the bulk of the implementation. Now with our implementation complete, let's imagine that we're creating a video tutorial. So we can go ahead and click on Editor, Code Play Extension, and Replay Session. And now let's assume that we've started our screen recording. Now we can go through and we can replay each checkpoint one by one. So we'll go to the next checkpoint here, and from now on I'm just going to use the shortcut I set up earlier. And I can piece by piece replay each of these checkpoints. And now it allows me to spend more time explaining what the code does to the viewer instead of spending time having them watch me type it. So you can go through and I can just play each checkpoint line by line. Now, if we wanted to turn this into a blog post, we can go to Editor, Code Play Extension, and Export Session. And now, this will return a markdown file that contains all of the checkpoints that we have created so far. So if I open this up and drag it in here, you can see all of the checkpoints that we've made previously, which allows us to very easily write a blog post around this markdown. I hope you found this demo helpful. Thanks for watching.